Hello, welcome back to Math Time with Professor Prime, and I am your host as always, Professor Prime. So creativity in logic. That's what I want to talk about today. And notice, I said creativity and logic, not creativity versus logic. So I want to get into how creativity and logic are linked and how that's important and how they're not as separated as we think. So let's get into it. When you think about creativity and logic, what do you think about? I don't know that personally because, you know, you're watching this and I'm not psychic yet, but um, what I think most people tend to think about when they think about those two things or that they're two separate things that don't interact with each other. And I don't feel like that is the actual case, although I do feel like that's how it's often treated. And I feel like that leads to people saying like someone has a creative mind or they have a logical mind and that is all that there is to it. And if someone has a so-called creative mind, you tend to think that they will lean towards the arts. That, you know, these are the writers, these are the musicians, these are the painters, the illustrators, the graphic designers. All the things along those lines, right? And if you think of someone as logical minded, you think, hey, these are the people who are the scientists, the technicians, the engineers, the mathematicians. You think that that's the case. And I feel like we do tend to like put ourselves in bubbles, but I feel like that's because society tends to put us in bubbles. You're either this or you're that. But I don't think that is that black and white. Let's talk about it further. So, Things aren't all black and white, right? I think it's a little bit more than that because I feel like creativity and logic do interact and they interact often. You are more than one thing and so is everybody else. And I feel like you can be more oriented creatively and maybe that's because you have some natural inclination, but it's also probably because you follow a certain path and you got this proper background in it and you've chosen to express yourself that way or it was kind of put upon you. It could go either way. And I feel like it's the same with the more logic oriented side where maybe you had the right background and might, you might have that certain inclination and maybe it was something that you wanted to do and maybe it was something that someone pushed on you. But my whole thing is that you might be more logic oriented, you might be creative oriented, but it doesn't mean you can't dip into the other side. And I'd argue that you can, should, and actually do already, even if you don't know it. I just feel like there should be more of an intentionality behind it or just you know being aware of it is helpful too. Because we are multifaceted beings, and I think that's important. And so, I want to talk about that further, because, right, it's not all black and white, and it's not all dark and light, right? I do like my lightsaber. This lighting is brought to you by that, which is awesome. <laughs> but I'm getting carried away. So, I'd say it's actually more nuanced than what I just said, and I want to get into that too. So... Let's do that. Let's talk about it a little bit more and then close it on out. So creativity and logic. Like I said, uh, they're more connected than we think. And when we're talking about them, it's not so black and white. It's not so dark and light. It's a much more colorful, much more nuanced discussion that we can have about those. Because they work in tandem oftentimes. And I think that's an amazing thing. So it's not just black or white. It's both. It's also red, also green, and every color surrounding them in between. And so much more. And for me, I'm a mathematician. And so a lot of people, you know, they'll see that and they're like, well, yeah, so he's more logical. You know, he's more logic oriented and okay to a degree, but I'm also quite creative. And that's something that I'm proud of. And I think that that can be an amazing thing because when I think about uh, what I do mathematically, 
yes, logic is a big thing. Because, you know, it's like I have to have my rules. I have to have my definitions. I have to know the processes that I can actually use. And that's all true. And I have to understand how the logic flows. But I need creativity too. Because what if I see a problem that I haven't exactly seen before? Right? I might have seen something similar, but not this exact problem. Or maybe I learned this topic or that topic, but I haven't seen this particular problem before. So I can have the background behind it, but I never saw a problem like this before, right? So it's like, well, what do I do? I can get creative. I can say, well, what do I have at my disposal and how can I solve this problem? Uh, why don't I just get adventurous and try a couple things or, you know, break down the problem and see what I can really do. And the thing is, outside of the actual uh, figuring out how to solve the problem, how I choose to express that, that's me being creative too. And honestly, I feel like you can play that game in any of the STEM fields. It's like, yes, you need to have a lot of logic, but you also need to be creative too. If no one was creative when it came to, you know, what we think of as more logical oriented fields, then those fields would never advance. There would be no new inventions, no new ideas. Creativity and logic cannot be divorced. And when you think about uh, being creative, you know, we tend to think about the arts, right? But if I'm writing a paper, yes, I need to be able to creatively express myself. And, you know, if I'm proving an argument, I gotta be creative how I do that too. But I need a lot of logic behind it. I need to know uh, what I'm doing. I need to know what came before it so I can guide that creativity. And you can make that same argument with anything in really in art. Because like, right, if I want to paint a picture, if I want to draw a sketch, I have to know what I can use. I need to know my utensils. I need to know what I can draw on or paint on and kind of go from there. And I can be inspired by something that came before me. And you can think of something like music as well. If I think about music, right? Like there's so much math in there, it's kind of crazy. But even if you didn't know that you were using math directly in that, you still have to know how to play a certain instrument, right? There's a logic to that. You had to learn it. You had to learn the rules and um, how to compose a song as we know it, right? You had to know how to play this note or play that note, right? There's a lot of logic in that. And I think that's amazing. And so really, I think whether you're in a more creative field or you're in a more logic oriented field then here's the thing right you're, you're using the other thing in there and i think that that's amazing because like i said it's more nuanced more colorful <laughs> i really like this lightsaber is currently keeping me sane <laughs> I'm, I'm joking but like not joking it's crazy times lightsaber but yeah <laughs> back to what i was saying um so yeah, I do really think that creativity and logic are more no uh, more nuanced than we think that they are and that we should be learning how to use them in conjunction with one another and that we do it all the time. I think that's amazing. So uh, let's close it on out. Creativity and logic. I feel like that's what we should be thinking when we think about either of those things, that they should be together, not separate. It shouldn't be creativity versus logic. I don't think that's helpful for anyone. And I think about what it means to be creative and I don't think my life would be the same without it. In fact, I know it. I wouldn't be able to have like the outlets that I have without that creativity. I wouldn't be able to keep on pushing without finding new ways to do it and learning from my past. I wouldn't be able to do the math that I've done in the past. I wouldn't be able to teach for that matter. I wouldn't be able to construct new ideas, embark on new journeys, set goals, and make them happen, you know? Like, um, accomplish those goals, there we go. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do any of that without creativity. Because at the end of the day, I need to evolve, same as anyone. And if you don't have a way to create new ideas, if you don't have a way to combine what you learn with where you're at while considering the future, then where are you? You can be logical all you want, but without that creativity, how will you use it? Now, when it comes to logic, my life is definitely not the same <laughs> without that. All the things that I mentioned, I can't really do that without logic either. Because I need to know how something works. I need to have a reason for this or that. 
and I need to be able to deduce whether I'm using good logic or bad logic because you can have a reason for doing something but doesn't make it good I need to process that I need to think about that and I don't think anything that I would do could actually happen without logic because I look at how I operate in the world right like um, I get up every day I go about my life whether it's walking around or driving or teaching or even playing you know the games that I enjoy I can't do any of that without logic because I need to understand that okay so this is how this works this is the reason that this is happening and contemplating what to do next about any given thing and if there was no logic it would be complete and total chaos and while chaos is a cool word and in math a very cool concept and just like interesting to think about math I mean chaos in the real world is not so nice for a lot of people um, so it's like good to figure things out if not for the world for yourself for your life and I think that when you have creativity and logic working together and you're aware of the fact that they're working together you can push further than you think because you're no longer in a bubble you know how this works, you know how that works, you know what the reason for this or that is, or you have methods to figure that out or deal with it even if you can't. And you're able to form new ideas. You're able to use what came before and combine it with what you know now and figure out the future. And you could do that with both of them and I think efficiently so if you master it. So I will go ahead and end this video because it's actually getting longer than I anticipated. But yeah, so creativity and logic, use them both. Use them wisely, use them well. And I have been Professor Prime. Professor Prime, I'm out. <laughs>